Today's video is sponsored by Miss Play. More on them later. So let's go ahead and start with our number one. And we have, I'm starting strong with Star Wars. Which one of these advent calendars is better than the other? Today we're going to be reviewing two mini brands advent calendars. One is the official Disney Store mini brands, and the other one is the toy mini brands. For those of you who don't know mini brands, they're basically miniature versions of known items such as Disney, whether they're figurines or collectibles. And sometimes they even make mini brands toys and day-to-day -day items. But today, as I mentioned, we do have advent calendars and advent calendar is basically a countdown down to the holidays. They can be anywhere between 30 days, 15 days, or a little bit of a mixture. And these mini brands are extremely popular. Now make no mistake, popular means that there's a price tag to it. At a about $50 each, these are not cheap. So they do tend to be on the more expensive scale, which each mini is close to $2 each. The Disney one does say that there are two exclusives in there, and the toy version says that there are four exclusives. So let's go ahead and open and see which one is offering the more interesting items. Though I have to say I'm a little worried that the Disney one might be mostly Star Wars. I'm not okay with Star Wars. <laughs> Let me know in the comment section below which one of these two do you think is going to be absolutely great. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and click on all notifications while you're there, which will turn you into a grain of salt in the Salt Shaker family. By the way, my newest craft kit is now available. If you ever wanted to make your own custom figure in an acrylic pour style, we have you covered. Ever since I did that project with my sister, I was extremely obsessed with wanting to make more of these. And so that's why we have the Figure It Out box. Figure it out. <laughs> with this kit, you can make your very own custom bear or any other creature with the air dry clay that comes inside. And yes, this kit does include everything you need, including six mini bears that you can use as charms or keychains, close to a liter of paint with eight different colors, and a total of over 14 items in the box. If you want the full detailed video, I will link it down below, but also something else amazing in there. With every box, you're going to be getting a pack of mystery stickers that we put together with bear puns for this kit. There are 10 stickers to collect, in which one of them is holographic. And if you're one of the lucky three to get a golden card, you'll get the chance to be one of the VIPs in live streams. And you get to choose one of the vlogs that I can make on my vlog channel if you want me to craft something different, or if you want me to review a local restaurant, or anything of that sort, of course. But I have to say I'm really excited about this kit, and I can't wait to see what you all make. Of course, with every box, you will be getting tutorials of how to use the items in there. Again, the link will be in the description box below. Thank you, Green so much for supporting me throughout all the projects. Back to the regular programming. So let's go ahead and start with the Disney version, which means we're just gonna put this one over there. You heard nothing. All right, now let's see what we get inside. it looks like we do have some kind of preview of the potential items in there but I don't know if they're actual spoilers or they're just putting random items but also don't forget to let me know in the comments which item did we get for your day of birth remember I don't want month I don't want year for example I'm the 21st so we'll be over here and if your birthday is past anything of the 24th just add whatever extra number it'll take to get to your date so you get two items okay you get two you're lucky. You're lucky son of a biscuit. So let's go ahead and start with our number one. And we have, I'm starting strong with Star Wars. I'm not okay with Star Wars. First item is a Storm Trooper mask. Here's what it looks like all the way around. Here's the top and bottom. Again, this is a very basic item, so we're not really seeing too much detail. Day two looks like another item from, please don't be more Star Wars. Please, what are you? Oh, excuse me. Excuse me? We have an adorable Ariel figurine from The Little Mermaid. Now, the reason I'm a little annoyed at this is because this is an old figurine from a previous series. And these are advent calendars marked for 2023, which means they're really not putting any effort to make these actually pretty exciting. It is a cute figurine though. 
She do be cute. Day three. So, so far what I've noticed is that whatever image they put at the front is not the item we're getting. This looks to be Spider-Man. And actually this looks pretty cool. Although I think Spider-Man's eyes are a little wonky because the eyes are not looking forward. They're kind of looking to the side. But the box and the figurine are pretty neat. Now, I think what would make this pretty cool, again, Disney, if you use my ideas, I demand royalties. What would make this even better so far is if they had Disney mini brands action and Disney mini brands stories. So in the action, we would get more things like Star Wars and Marvel. And in stories, we'd get more like classic Disney films or Pixar. That's just my opinion though. It's a consultant fee included. Day four, you are, oh, we have another tiny figurine and this one is Snow White. Again, are they cute? Yes. Are they new? No. Look at that. This is an absolutely adorable image over here. I can see the appeal of trying to collect these ones. I would probably want a collection. I don't even care that much. Day five. Oh no. Oh no. We have another storm trooper. This time it's a full standing figurine. Box is pretty cool. Figurine's still pretty cool. Again, not into Star Wars. Heck, they can even make just the Star Wars one. Just focus on Star Wars. People will love that. One of the other good things about having an advent calendar for mini brands is you know you should not be getting doubles, which I guess is good, but at $50, I feel like I need it to, to be wowed. Day six, you are. We have a golden Chewbacca, but Chewbacca kind of looks like the, a Yeti for some reason. And here's what it looks like. The box is actually more plain than I expected for it to be a golden figurine. And I guess this is maybe one of the exclusive items, but we don't know. This set actually doesn't tell us which one is exclusive, but okay, here it is. I wonder what this is. It's looking pink and actually pretty attractive. What can it be? But it's not going to be in here. Maybe, hopefully we have. What is that? Oh, we have Woody, but he looks so off brand. It seriously looks like we got him from the dollar store. <laughs> Hang on, let's take him out because this looks hilarious. Can we talk please? Sir Woody, come here. We're, oh gosh, I think we're gonna have to break the box. Oh, actually just removing the top helps. And here's what he looks like. He definitely does not have a hat and he looks like from the dollar store. Just saying he is discounted. Here's what the box looks like all the way around. See, this is what he's supposed to look like, like this. This is what Woody's supposed to look like, but instead we have this. Not very strong, Disney, not very strong. Oh gosh, I really hope we do get Tinkerbell, but let's see. And it is Minnie Mouse phone. Talk about underwhelming, Disney, come on, you could do better than this. These are just products they already had and they just threw them in a box. So far I have to say my $50 is not going too far. Day nine is, we have a angry Minnie Mouse. She definitely looking angry and she looks jacked. Why, why does she look like she lifting bruh? Minnie, are you even lifting bruh? <laughs> yeah, she definitely looking angry. Oh gosh, that is nightmare fuel. <laughs> I don't think this is any better. What happened to her? Why does she look like she, look at that. She's looking like she lost her soul somewhere. Maybe in the around the world ride. That one's pretty freaky. And here's what the back looks like. And honestly, it does not look better. I don't know what happened to Disney. But she definitely got them angry eyebrows. Day 10. Don't tell me, don't, no, no. I know this isn't Star Wars, but it's still not that interesting. Who is this? Black Widow, she just looks like a paraglider. If this isn't the worst figurine I have seen so far, I don't know what is. But she definitely looks like she needs a day at the spa. Here's what the back of the box looks like. And yeah, this is this is what she's supposed to look like. Oh my goodness, they didn't even try. Is this real or counterfeit? I feel like I got a counterfeit Disney box. Day 11, come on, you have to redeem yourself day 11. You are, okay, a Disney princess. We have Cinderella. Again, the faces on these characters are absolutely terrible. Definitely terrible. Here's what it looks like. I have to say, so far we didn't get any of the stuff that we got at the front of the box, which is quite disappointing. I wanna see more of the cool stuff. Day 12 is a, a drink. I am not impressed at all. We have a Baby Yoda drink. Again, this is an old item. They just shoving in the extras in there. 13. Oh, I thought we got a double. I seriously thought we got a double. We have Jesse, also from Toy Story. Here's what the box looks like. Voila. 
14, and it is a Captain America shield. These are all items we've already seen. For an advent calendar, I would really like to see something more special. I mean, they do have Disney holiday things. Would be kind of cool to see some of those items. 15, you are, who is that again? Is that from Peter Pan? Anna. Really? Yeah, I guess. We have Anna from Frozen. I don't know why it looks like a Peter Pan character, but here's what the side of the box looks like. Again, super cute animation. Really, really adorable box. Character is very meh. 16 is another Marvel. We have a Spider-Man mask. Again, these items are very familiar, so we're just gonna go through them. I don't know what's the exclusive so far, other than the Chewbacca. 17 is... R2-D2. This is a really deep box and I don't know why, but look at that space. For some reason, look at that. For some reason, this box is so deep. I don't get it. Is it a flat character? It's a flat character. Hang on, let's take this out. Oh no, he's not, not even a full R2-D2. He's R1-D1. He's flat. Oh my goodness. That's, that's bad news. That's a half a character. 18 is a golden Woody. I guess that's our next exclusive. I don't think Woody is that much of everyone's favorite character for us to have a golden version of him, but here it is. And he looks more like a googly eyed character than an item I'd actually want to keep. So yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. Here's all the back of the box. It's really not that interesting. Really not that interesting. 19 is a uh, car. We have Lightning McQueen. That's actually pretty cool. I love the steering wheel in the back. And here's the back and side of the box. But this one's pretty cool. 20 is another toy. It's always Toy Story. Again, we've seen this one before. Nothing special. Tis the horse. What's the horse's name again? Bullseye. Not a fan of Toy Story. Don't at me. If it's your favorite movie, just let me know in the comments why. I just couldn't get into it. If you grains love to play mobile games, then why not use that time to earn loyalty points that can be redeemed for gift cards? Which is why I'd love to talk about today's sponsor, Mist Play. Mist Play is a loyalty app for us gamers. Whether you're looking for a little bit of help to cover your holiday shopping, Amazon purchases, daily coffees, or even your Fortnite battle pass, Mist Play is an amazing place for you to gain rewards just by simply discovering and playing new mobile games. And they have a huge inventory of games, ranging from puzzles, strategy, word games, adventure, and more. And the more you play, the more points you earn. And yes, you heard, you can redeem these points into gift cards, such as Amazon, Walmart, Visa, PlayStation, Xbox, and many more. And with a highly engaged community of millions of users, over $60 million in gift cards have already been redeemed. So whether you're into games that I also have personally enjoyed, like Royal Match and even Raid, Misplay is a great way to add an extra value to your game time. But I could sit here and tell you how much I love Misplay, but the best way to find out is by checking my link down below or going to misplay.com forward slash nerdycrafter and use code nerdycrafter30 to get 30 free points. That's misplay.com forward slash nerdycrafter. Use the code nerdycrafter30 for 30 points. I'm a huge believer in being able to multitask, but this is way easier. Thank you, Miss Play, for sponsoring a portion of today's video. And now for my day of birth. We didn't get Moana. That's very upsetting. What do we have? On my day of birth, we get a lunchbox. We have a see-through lunchbox container. Again, you can't open these, but at least it doesn't look too bad. Although I'm a little confused why there's a mermaid, a bunny corn, and a koala seahorse. Not sure. I don't remember watching this specific cartoon. And here's what it looks like in the back. 22. Please don't be s another one. Oh no, it's not. It's not cars, but it, it does involve cars. Here we have, oh my goodness. Is that supposed to be Mickey Mouse? Why does he look like he's been living off the streets? Mickey, I know you're a mouse, but you don't have to hang out with the rats. <laughs> looks like we found Mickey Mouse in an alleyway with the rats. Mickey, you look so disheveled, but Here's the side of the box. Here's what the back looks like. And you can see over here that his face is supposed to have some kind of coloration. And when we turn him around, it's just, I don't know. It looks like he's wearing an oversized hoodie. I don't know. Something's wrong with Mickey here. 23, you are Aurora. Is it Princess Aurora? Oh gosh, it is Princess Aurora. And she looks so suspicious. She's legitimately giving the side eye. The criminal offense side eye. 
This is not what she's supposed to look like. Okay, keep an eye on her. And this is what she's supposed to look like. Wait a dash Garndarm. She's blonde, right? Why is she brunette here? And I'm going to guess and hope that our third exclusive is on the 24th. Let's see, 24. Nope. On the 24th, we have Iron Man. I feel like they try to please everybody and then they're going to please nobody at the same time. So here's what the entire thing looks like all the way around. The figurine is very meh. And I have to say for $50, I actually am pretty upset and disappointed at this. I'm going to rate the entire experience probably a two on 10. And now for the toy mini brands. Let's see if it's actually any better. Ta-da! I'm just going to get rid of this flap because it's in the way. And this one is supposed to have four exclusives. So let's see, we did unbox this recently. So if you want to see the full video, I will link it down below, but I really want to see something unique. But I have to say that for all the mini brands, I do love the fact that the numbers are properly organized. They're just so easy to see. But let's start off with number one and see if it's any good. You are Spongebob. We have a Gary figurine. I'm not mad about this because I don't think I saw it in the previous unboxing, but they really also need to put the list of exclusives or at least the paper somewhere to let me know if it's exclusive or is it just gold equals exclusive? It's gold exclusive. I don't know. Number two, and it is. Is it just a box? Mini brands, really? Is it just a box? It is an absurd box. It is literally a box. And it is a Cards Against Humanity. And it's really nothing special. It is literally a box. If anything, they really should avoid putting boxes. The Disney one didn't have boxes. They actually had figurines. So at least there's that. Off we go with number three. You are, oh, a ninja. Why does it look like it's from the dollar store? We have a Michelangelo figurine. And let's just open the top because the lighting is really hard to get. But here is a close up. The character looks super wonky. And here's the side and the back of the box. I mean, hey, at least it's a character, right? <laughs> Not just the box. Day four, you are Lilith's Pet Shop. So we have a dog, a cute little doggy. And here's the back of the box. Day five. You are a bucket. Oh, is, th is that just a bucket? No, not just a bucket. A bucket of slime from Nickelodeon. And it just says gooey fun slime bucket. The bucket itself is not too bad because this thing actually goes up and down. And we have a drizzle along the edge up here. I wish the drizzle were actually colored, but we haven't seen that one before, so I kind of like it. Six is another Littlest Pet Shop. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a platypus. No, it's not a platypus, it has four legs. Wait, platypuses have four legs. It's kind of like a duck bird leg thing. So maybe it is a platypus, I can't tell. Back of the box doesn't tell us anything. Let me know what you think it is in the comment section below. Seven, you are headphones. Oh, say what? These are Jojo Siwa headphones. Now I don't know how Jojo Siwa has headphones. Oh, because they have a bow. Oh, they don't even provide the bow? It says adjustable headband, friendly volume. <gasps> bow sold separately. It says bows sold separately. So what makes this Jojo Siwa if it doesn't have a ponytail nor a bow? We need a bow though. Yeah, it literally does not cut. It's just a pink headset. These companies. I'm not mad about this because I didn't see it, but I am mad at the fact that if anyone bought a Jojo Siwa bow, I didn't come everyone come with a bow. Yeah, headphone needs a bow if it's Jojo Siwa, I'm just saying. Eight is, what is that? Oh, a Hello Kitty mask. So here is a Hello Kitty mask, but what is that? What is happening here? Why is there plastic? Oh gosh. Yeah, this is definitely peeling. It's almost like a glue or something. Something's happening here. This is a Hello Kitty mask. I'm guessing this is a sleep mask and the quality is not the greatest. Day nine is, what is that? You know what? A lot of these things we haven't actually seen. So I am interested in this whole scenario, actually. We have a Blue's Clues puzzle. Here's what the front looks like. And let's turn it around. Here's what the back looks like, which is kind of cute. Very different from what we've been getting. Into double digits with day 10. Is that another mini brand? That is a mini brand. That is very meta. 
We have a mini friends collector case, which I've seen many of these a little bit of everywhere, but I don't know if I love mini brands enough to get a case to collect them. Let me know if you do. 11 and 12 are next to each other. So we have here a Nido color change ball, which is basically a fidget toy. And we've done a couple of these on the channel. And there's actually a little ball on the inside, but it's not fidgety at all. It's just a plastic hard ball. 12, what do you have for us? And you are, oh, we have not seen this. This is a very blurry item. It's not the camera, it's actually the print. And here we have a bunny corn surprise. And I really hope this is not the exclusive because I do see some gold over here and I really, really hope this is not the exclusive. This would be absolutely terrible because so far I can't tell what's exclusive. 13 is a box of the Connect for game. I absolutely love playing Connect 4. It's such an easygoing kind of game that you can play. But again, we are getting a box and I am not impressed with that. 14 is another box. No, okay, not another box. We have a Power Ranger and this one is the pink one. The box design is really cool though. For some reason, it reminds me of colored pencils. And here's what the side and back look like. Pretty neat. 15 and 16 are one on top of the other. So let's see what we have here. This one is a My Little Pony. Oh, what? Hello? Oh, okay. I was like, what is this growth happening on the My Little Pony? It's the arm is, is bent in. Okay. The arm is bent in. I repeat, we do not have an emergency. <laughs> All right. This is a pretty cool pose because the other My Little Ponies that we got did not have this pose. Next one here we have Oh, a Tamagotchi. Here we have a Tamagotchi. Now, if you love virtual pets, make sure that you do check out my gaming channel, Raging Raccoon Gaming, because we did a review of a different kind of virtual pet called Bitsy. So definitely check that out. If you love gaming, definitely hang out with us over there. And voila, this one's cute. It's different from the one we got in the main video. You know what I just realized? That there's gold ones on these numbers. So eight, 13, 17 and three have a golden emblem. No, wait, never mind. 12 and two also, and 22. Okay, I thought the exclusives were on four of the gold ones, but we definitely have more than four gold ones. So it is not the fact that they have gold that they make them exclusive in there. 17, you are going to give us another Nido. Okay, this one is a swirl Nido, but it literally is the exact same thing, but this one is green on the inside. You know what, let's go ahead and take it out. And yeah, it is a solid ball on the inside. 18. We have freaky SpongeBob. What the heck, SpongeBob? What? Why? What's happening with SpongeBob? Is he supposed to be in his panties? I'm asking a legitimate question. Is SpongeBob supposed to be in his panties like that? Why has he got lipstick? What's happening here? This is a really bad design. I don't know how I feel about this. Is it supposed to look like that? I don't think so. They should just call him SpongeBob Panty Pants. I think so. So weird. This is so weird. It wouldn't be mini brands unless they did weird stuff. 19. Another My Little Pony. And this time we have, what the shrimp? What's going on with this hair? Rainbow Dash, what's going on with the hair? This, this is a messed up character. This is really hard to see. This thing is really dirty and scratched up and it does not look like Rainbow Dash. Not one bit. Yeah, the hairline is just going all the way back here. I don't like this. I feel like it should have been facing this way and not the cloud where we can't see the face. I, I, I hate this. 20 is another box. This one is Twister, which was back in the day a really fun game, but I feel like now with my back all messed up and age, I don't think I can be a twisty anymore. And now for my day of birth, we are getting, what the shrimp? Another My Little Pony. And this one here is Applejack. And this one's cute, actually. This one is actually pretty cute. And I find it weird that they put the faces where the design is. They really should be facing the other way. This one's cute. I'm not mad about it. Went to, oh, what the shrimp? What was that? Angel High. 10 surprises inside. I've never seen these before. I've never seen these in store. Rare gold wings, surprise wings. I mean, the concept looks pretty cool, but I feel like the glitter is gonna come off. Yep, I have glitter all over my fingers right now. And this is absolutely terrible. I don't know what they are, but as you can see them here on the screen, this is basically what it is. I have to check more into them. 23 is, oh, 
Okay. I still don't know what's the exclusive. I don't have a guide to guide me here. Smasher's Dino Island Skull. This is probably one of the coolest things in this box. It's kind of neat. We have a little dinosaur sticking out over here. <laughs> it does look pretty cute though. I like the dino. Oh my goodness, this dino. Yeah, I like this design. Pretty neat. 24 is another Littlest Pet Shop. And this time it looks like we have a kitty cat. Very, very normal kitty cat. Here's what the back looks like. And that's everything we got in both mini brands. Which one is worth it? I'm going to have to say that if you absolutely must, the toys one is the better one. The Disney one just felt like they were cheaping out all over. And also the theme of Disney where there was a lot of Marvel and Star Wars versus the stories makes it for someone like me who just doesn't like any of the other stuff feel very meh about it. But also I think they're both absolutely trash. So for me personally, they would go in the tree. I just don't see spending $50 on these things as actually fun. If you want to watch more mini brands, make sure you click up here. If you want to catch something a little different and maybe even crafty, make sure you click down here. Until then, I will see you greens in the next video.